everybody, it's Bunny! And today, we're gonna do a coffee-fueled review of a product that I am literally so excited to try. This is proof that advertising does indeed work. I have seen a lot of other YouTubers try this out, and that only made me want to try it more on my very own fleshy wish. And magazines, just everywhere, I have seen this. I had to procure it. This is the new uh, Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. It makes me feel like I could become a magical bear, like bare skin. You guys may or may not know that basically I have quit using all foundations for an extremely long time. I kind of have made my own foundation out of different tinted moisturizers and stuff like that, but it's been a really long time since I've actually tested out or worn an actual foundation. The reason why I stopped wearing foundations is I thought that A, it was kind of contributing to my acne problem and B, I live in the hot, hot heat of Texas and foundations just always make me kind of feel like I have a lot of makeup caked on my face and I decided I wanted to go for a more natural look. But this one is supposed to be extremely natural. It's made from lilac plant stems. Doesn't that sound so fascinating? It is also made without water. How is that even possible? I thought everything had water in it, including you and I. It also has no fragrances, no oils, no parabens. It's made out of hopes and dreams. I suppose. The other reason uh, that I've mondo been wanting to try this is you're supposed to use this product, product with a particular brush. And it's called the Perfecting Face Brush, but really, I think they should have called it the Bucket Brush because look at it. It looks like a wee little bucket. Look at it. Can you see? Like there is a hole kind of in the middle of this brush. I know you're not supposed to touch brushes, but I could not resist because its bristles are so soft. It's like little fluffy baby cherub butts. So let me just forewarn you, these things are a little bit pricey. I at first thought that it was like a set deal. Like you bought the foundation, you got a brush. How naive is that? You buy them individually. So uh, the foundation product is $30. The brush is also $30. So to get this party started, it is $60. And I will also forewarn you, if you are ghostly pale, like yours truly, you might have to go to a couple different stores. I'm not sure if it's just my area. Maybe I got a lot of pasty people living around me. My shade was sold out in, I had to go to four different stores. So if you find this stuff, if you wanna try it, you might wanna snag it because some other places had the foundation and not the brush, or they had the brush and not the foundation, like they were sold out of one of the components. This product is extremely liquidy, so you have to shake it up a lot. Shake it, 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 shake it. I think it's efficiently shooken. Sippy sippy. <laughs> Delicious. So the other thing I thought just sounded extra grand about this product is it has buildable coverage. So at first I'm going to use two drops. They said you could use one to two drops and I'm not sure if they mean you can cover your entire face with one to two drops, but let's just see. As per usual, I have many evil, disgusting face demons that I would love to erase with some kind of assistance. Ew, it feels lightweight and very nice. It feels like I'm rubbing nothing on my face. Oh, camera. Which is my favorite texture of makeup. If I could just rub beautiful air on my face, if that would make any difference, I would do it. We shall do a side-by-side -side comparison of my face now versus my naked face. So side-by-side, -side. you guys tell me what you think. I think it does make a little bit of difference. I can definitely see some of the redness of my blemishes kind of faded. It's not exactly the greatest amount of coverage in the world with two drops, I feel. Like if I was gonna go through the rigmarole of applying foundation, I think I would like a little bit more coverage than this. But so far 
I'm very impressed with how it feels. Very lightweight, not greasy at all. Let's go ahead and try adding two more drops just for some extra coverage and see what a difference that makes. So I added three more drops onto the brush. And since I started on this side of my face last time, I'm gonna start on this side. Actually, I'm gonna try and kind of move and just distribute it right off the bat on both sides. There we go. Circular motions. Now we have about five drops in total on my face. And I think in comparison to one to two drops, this definitely has given me a little bit more coverage. I feel like it's definitely diminishing the face demons, like the more drops that I add. Now let's do a comparison of this compared to one to two drops. And just tell me what you think. Also tell me, do you think that this is the right color for my face? I think it's blending in pretty good with my neck, chin, chest area. Just for why not, I'm going to go ahead and add one more drop and just kind of add a little bit more coverage just to these troublesome areas, just to kind of see exactly how much coverage we can get. Ta-da! I feel like that really made a lot of difference just going through with a touch more over my blemishy areas. And of course, this is also testing it with no foundation bases and no concealers. This is just naked skin plus bare skin. And uh, these are the results that I'm getting. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. My only complaint would be, I wish they had a selection of different finishes because normally I love matte makeup for everything, whether it's lipstick, foundation, what have you. And uh, they don't have different, like I said, finishes. So this is just supposed to be like a dewy, not matte kind of finish. That is my only beef, but I'm really, really impressed with this. Like definitely if I wanted to go out in the day and not do a full face of makeup, but like maybe if I didn't want necessarily like all of my imperfections to show that day, like I think that this could be a really, really quick makeup to apply. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment down below and let me know, have you tried this? Are you gonna try this? I've only ever had one Bare Minerals product before and that was the Well Rested, which is an under eye concealer. I liked that and I like this and I'm excited to own this brush because I think it can be used for an array of different foundation type products, maybe even some concealers. Thank you guys so, so much for being here and for watching, for hanging out with me today. I am always grateful that you drop on by. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Graveyard Girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at Graveyard Girl. Well, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!